Hello again. I, like many of you, have uh, just come back from the Eshri meeting in uh, Barcelona and the, by far uh, the highlight for me uh, was the release of the uh, international evidence-based guidelines uh, for the assessment and management of PCOS. This was a mon monumental effort by uh, Helena Tweed, Tidi and uh, her uh, collaborators. And what I liked about this uh, presentation was the fact that it's actually evidence-based. There were many collaborators uh, who were uh, asked to give their uh, uh, opinion. And the basis of the guidelines was thoroughly researched and as I say, all evidence-based. So there was no more experience-based uh, evidence uh, or any transatlantic chasms of uh, disagreement, but here was really the uh, nitty-gritty and it followed a strict basis of uh, appraisal, engagement of uh, professional societies, including ASHRAE, multidisciplinary experts, consumer organizations and even women themselves uh, who have PCOS. A welcome start of these recommendations uh, was the endorsement and the grounding of the Rotterdam criteria. Uh, most people throughout the world now, the vast majority, are using these criteria uh, and these guidelines take the opportunity to really ground and base uh, these criteria and they did this in several ways. First of all, uh, the recommendation that if both oligoanovulation and hyperandrogenism, which is clinical or laboratory, are present, you don't actually need to do uh, an ultrasound examination. If an ultrasound is, uh, is necessary, then uh, because of the improvement in the resolution uh, of these ultrasound machines, then the previous uh, follicular count, small follicles, was 12. This has now been raised to 20 in one or both of the ovaries. AMH will one day become a criteria, but at the moment it's not recommended uh, to use in the diagnostic criteria for PCOS. Also, the measurement of uh, insulin resistance uh, is not recommended for uh, routine use. Once diagnosed, the management is recommended, of course, according to the presenting symptoms, whether these are reproductive, metabolic, or let's not forget, psychological, and quite an emphasis in these guidelines has been placed on uh, psychological welfare of uh, women with uh, PCOS all have been uh, treated in a particularly incisive manner and thanks to the evidence base uh, there is uh, little room for argument here. A particular emphasis has been placed on uh, those with excess weight uh, which of course is responsible for exaggerating all the symptoms of, uh, of uh, PCOS. Combined uh, low-dose oral contraceptives are the recommended treatment for menstrual irregularity. Metformin uh, is recommended for the management of uh, metabolic features, but metabolic features only and not for ovulation induction. And letrozole uh, has finally won the battle for the first-line treatment of uh, infertile anovulatory PCOS. Now, ever since the real first description of uh, PCOS in 1935 by Stein and Leverthal, then the syndrome has been a source of intense investigation and intense debate. These international evidence-based guidelines will be published in July, this month or next month, in Fertility, Sterility and simultaneously in Human Reproduction. And I highly uh, recommend you uh, to uh, read them. They're written in a manner which will be greatly appreciated uh, by clinicians and researchers alike, and they'll undoubtedly be widely quoted. 
uh, and serve as a solid foundation for further progress in the management of this fa fascinating condition. And again, all credit is due to uh, Helen Teedy and her co-workers for putting evidence-based order into PCOS. Thank you.